the, the, the Himalaya phase three studies that uh, study in uh, in patients with uh, hepatocellular carcinoma uh, that tested the, the combination of durvalumab plus tremolimumab, so anti ctla 4 anti pdl one with a new regimen that is called STRIDE with a single priming dose of tremolimumab followed by durvalumab versus sorafenib that was at the time of the study design at the standard of care. And also the trial included a Durvalumab single agent arm that was tested for non-inferiority versus sorafenib. The trial is positive and STRIDE is now a standard of care in first line. What I presented at ESMO and was already presented and was again presented at ESMO Asia by um, Professor Kudo is the analysis at five years. So at five years, we observed that 20% of the patients in the STRIDE arm are alive compared to now exactly 19.6, so approximately 20%, compared to 9.4% of the patients in the sorafenib arm. These are unprecedented data because historically, the survival of patients with advanced HCC at five years was less than 5%, and now we have 20% of the patients. Another important uh, observation is that uh, to reach this long-term survival, patients do not need to have objective response, but stable disease or any degree of uh, um, reduction in the disease is enough. And if we look at patients with a disease control, meaning objective response, but also stable disease, we have a 28.7% of patients alive at five years. So these again are unprecedented data uh, with no new um, treatment related adverse events, even with a long follow-up. This is the longest follow-up in a, a trial with uh, uh, in patients with advanced HCC. And uh, um, this data are really supporting the use of the stride regimen in patients with advanced HCC.